Father, what would you say, I mean, we've all experienced struggles in our prayer life where we're praying and just aren't seeing the results that we think we should be getting after all the prayers. What would you say to someone who's really struggling with waiting to have their prayers answered? I think that if you really love, if you remember the very first time that you went on a date with your future husband or future wife, or even just a good friend, just the anticipation of being with that person was enough to kind of fill your soul. And whether or not you actually achieved all the things that you wanted to do, um, maybe things got cut short because other things interfered, the very desire for you to have that intimacy and that time with that person uh, could be enough to fill your heart. And the other person knowing that your desire for that kind of intimacy was there is enough to fill their heart. So you don't have to be overly concerned about the outcome. Many times people feel like if they pray and they don't get an answer that the Lord's not listening. Um, but that's not always the case. Many times the Lord is very much listening um, and we are very much attentive to what we want to say to Him. But sometimes we don't always understand what He's communicating back to us. And that's where that silence, even if it's just for a few moments, is so important because that little bit of peace can go a long way in our Lord communicating Himself to us. And Our Lady is, is so efficacious in assisting us with that because she knows how distracted we can become. She knows how disturbed our hearts can be. And her comfort and her intercession might just be the grace that we need to be that much more attentive to her son. And that really is her whole goal, is to make us ready to receive whatever it is that Jesus wants to give to us. In fact, when you go to John's Gospel, very few times in the scriptures do we ever hear Our Lady saying anything. But the one most powerful line that reverberates in John's Gospel is when she turns to Jesus at the wedding feast of Cana and says, do whatever he tells you to do. And it is that admonition, um, if we truly embrace that, can really lead us to a very deep relationship with our Lord and with Our Lady assisting us. We've got to just make that time so we can hear what it is he's asking us to do, right? You do. If, if we have time to go to soccer games, if we have time to go to football games, if we have time to paint the house, if we have time to go to work, then if those can be priorities in our life, then we also need to make time for our Lord, and that has to become a priority amidst all those things. In fact, if you find yourself at the very beginning of the day desiring to do that, and even in a simple morning offering, and taking all the activity that is about to come, that in and of itself, once you've united that desire to praise God, even in the simple things, the washing of the dishes, the doing of the clothes, the going to work, the putting up with all the stress during the course of the day, all those little things can give God glory if you present that to Him uh, as an act of your will and your desire to glorify Him.